we go male num here we go male normal number three here we go male number oh my god you gotta put that thing down and just use your hands dude <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. We have here the blood python clutch. If you missed the video of us pulling this clutch, go back and watch this video first so you get a little bit of uh, what do you call it? Do you know what I'm thinking of? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> Perspective. I'm here with my buddy Travis, of course. It was his male and my female that produced this clutch. First time clutch for your male too? Yeah. First time clutch for both of them. Sangria, of course. Very mellow blood python. You guys are gonna see probably, these snakes are fresh out babies, so they're gonna be a bit defensive, as most baby snakes start out to be. Blood pythons are no exception. So if you wanted your snake to be chill, it's gonna get there. It's just gonna take a little bit for it to chill out and not be so defensive. It's just a baby. It's the first thing coming to this world, bright lights, cameras. We've got one snake that didn't come out of the egg yet. He's still right there. This little dude right here and this is the odd one out, so I just opted to say that this will just end up being the snake that I end up keeping. And we'll, the rest, we've got 16 that are out of the egg, so we're just gonna split it down the middle. And I'll just, whenever that guy comes out, I'll be good. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be, oh, wrangling. We're gonna bleed for blood. We're gonna, we're gonna split these up. We're gonna male, female, matrix, non-matrix, and then We'll each take our turns picking, and then Travis is going to do a video of the snakes that he ends up with. So that you guys that wanted to get on the list, and you know, there's way more people on the list than there are going to be snakes available on my side. So I'll send you guys over to Travis's video so you can see what snakes he has if he didn't make it on on my particular list. So, bottom line is, uh, yeah, let's let's get him out. Let's let's make it happen. Let's see what we're dealing with here. It's a beautiful tub. Look at all those snakes, Dad! So this is it's kind of like bobbing for apples in reverse. You know, instead of sticking your face in and trying to bite an apple, it's like you're sticking your hand in trying to get a snake and... You, your hand is the apple and all the snakes are playing at once. <laughs> so this is a matrix here. That's a matrix? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. You want so, me to check? Yeah, let's uh... I've kind I'm gonna let you wrangle. Alright. While I while I sex this snake, I'm pretty sure we're looking at a female here. But let me just. Oh nope, that's a male. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I didn't really get a good peek at it at first, but yeah, it's definitely a male. I think blood pythons tend to be a little more well endowed than ball pythons, so this should be pretty easy to determine which ones are and which ones aren't. Um, this right here is a normal for sure. See if I can reach. Ah! Oh, almost, almost got in there without getting tagged. Look at that little guy just grabbing the. Look, look, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting bit. So I think getting these guys eating is not going to be a problem whatsoever. They seem to have pretty good uh, response as far as getting their teeth onto things. <laughs> and don't worry, you guys that. You guys that. Ow. <laughs> you guys that are on my list here, I'm going to be handling all these, you know, a couple times a week. To get them a little more mellowed out for you before they, they get to go to their homes and yeah that's a that's a female right there and she's lashed onto my arm <laughs> i have to get her to let go there you go all right it's so a normal female <laughs> i guess th this one's next Skate, yeah exactly this, this is a matrix female no. female so matrix. matrix here we got our next candidate here oh we got another one trying to be next oh. another matrix it's your turn i think we got you got hit pretty heavy hard odds on the Matrix. Yeah. Oh, see I do jump. Yeah. They do that full body curl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. You got male Matrix. You know, oh, he's peeing on all over us. <laughs> Who wants to be next? One female. Female. The ones to really watch out for are not the ones that are cruising. It's the ones, it's the ones that, that are, are sitting, right? sitting down like. Ah! Or the ones oh, that are crazy. Well, <laughs> so, what do we got here? Normal? Or Matrix? I'd say that's a Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix. Nice pink tongue, blushed out sides, the gravel going on. Matrix is definitely a subtle, you know, more of a subtle mutation in comparison oh, to a lot of the other. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh boy, this is a boy. Another male Matrix. Male Matrix. So, so far, we've only got male Matrixes and normal females. That's interesting. Ooh, ooh. 
And I've only gotten bit like 17 times so far. Oh, goodness gracious. Female! Female. There we go. Call, call oh. for the female matrix. Uh, male. male. <laughs> they're, they're basically sticking them out for me. This is the first male normal. First male normal. It's a boy. Boy? Male normal? Dude, these guys are super easy to sex. They're basically shoving their peens out at me, dude. All right, who's next? Nobody else wants to volunteer? Uh, you stuck your tongue out. And your matrix. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's be nice to each other. <sighs> Sibling rivalry. Ah! Oh, man. You just swallowed my pinky swallowed hole. Swallowed your pinky hole, yeah. All right, this is na matrix, right? Matrix. I still want <laughs> Don't edge my butt. Oh, oh look! <laughs> like I said, they're just, they're just, they're just shoving up. I'm not even have to look. I don't even have to pop that. The, 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 the peas are just coming right out. I'm not even touching them. <laughs> That's funny. Male Matrix. I'm a boy. Hear me roar, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, boy. <laughs> The snakes that sex themselves. It's another male. Another male. <laughs> Female. Female. Yes. yes. Matrix. Ah! <laughs> yeah, she's freaking peeing and it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt that bad, guys. You can see it's not it's not that it hurts, it's just like baby snakes biting. That's this is this is one of the things that is very important when teaching a baby snake to not be defensive. Is he you let them bite, you don't have any reaction to them biting you. You don't drop them, you don't put them down if they're biting you. You just let them bite you a little bit. And yeah, if it's, I mean, oh, look, I'm not like even flinching. It doesn't hurt really, it's just surprising sometimes. But you know the baby's gonna bite you a little bit. You let them do it, and when they realize that biting you is not gonna cause any kind of reaction whatsoever, they're like, oh, I don't need to bite him. First of all, he's not trying to kill me. I'm still here, I'm alive. Biting him, nothing's happening, he's still holding me. So you teach them that biting's not gonna do anything. And they do learn that they don't need to bite you. We uh, are definitely a little male heavy. And it's it a boy. A boy. <laughs> Lots of boys. Lots of boys. All right, so Travis and I are gonna go through, we're gonna pick out which ones we want, and we're gonna turn these cameras off. You wanna see which ones Travis has picked, you go watch his video on his channel, I'll put a link down in the description, and uh, just stay tuned right here if you wanna see which ones I picked. All right, so Travis has taken his snakes and gone home. I'm gonna go through the Normal males, then matrix males, then normal female, and then matrix females. And we'll break it down like that. Still got that one egg that hasn't hashed out yet. That's, uh, I'll put that one in a future video. But for those of you guys that are on the list, pay attention to these individual snakes. I'm gonna number them off. I'm gonna put them away so I can keep them straight. Go through the differences of the different looks and you guys can be the judges and just come along with me and we'll check out some really beautiful snakes. So we ended up with, uh, on my take, we got five males and three females, so Male heavy clutch, I prefer female heavy clutches, but hey, you can't have everything. We got 100% hatch rate on all these eggs, 17 eggs, all hatched, and uh, can't really ask for anything better than that. Nothing but a bunch of healthy snakes, so that's definitely a win. <laughs> you guys seeing this? Uh, it's pretty cool, man. Do this on getting bit too much. You guys notice I was getting bit a lot. I'm not bleeding whatsoever. So it's like these guys don't even really hardly break skin with their bites when they're little babies like this. So. It's really nothing to be concerned about. And I'd love to reiterate the fact that you just let them know that biting isn't really a big deal. They'll learn real quick that it's not a big deal and they don't need to do it. And they're already kind of learning. These guys aren't biting me anymore right now. So, so normal male number one, he's kind of the middle ground between the other two. You'll see when I show you the other two what I'm talking about in a minute, but you kind of see here he's got real nice clean sides. Got some nice dorsally on top. This is, he's got that classic, classic blood python look. And for those of you guys wondering like why these guys aren't as red as their parents, blood pythons will start off more of a coppery brown tone like this and they will grow into their redness. So male number one, so this is a normal male number two and of the three normal males, he is the lightest of the three. He also has the most full 
dorsal stripe, most unbroken dorsal stripe going all the way down his back. His sides also have a lot of graveling going on. There's kind of like this more broken up gravelly thing to where I'd, I'd almost think Matrix, you know, not being very experienced with blood python morphs, but we're keeping him as a male because we don't want to sell something that's a not a not a matrix as a matrix. So look at that very very busy busy side pattern happening. This is almost kind of like when we're breeding ball pythons, kind of almost shooting for this kind of look on the ball python. Have that real busy look at all that going on down there. I would almost be bold enough to say that is actually a matrix, but we're we're selling them as a normal. So male normal number two. Here we go, male normal number three. And this is the darkest of the three normal males. And you can definitely tell that when you look at his side pattern, you see the amount of black that is outlining his pattern. He's got just a lot more black tipping on that pattern. and tends to give him more contrast and probably the least complete of the dorsal striping. He has very, the top of his dorsal is very broken up. Definitely a beautiful snake. I really love the, the contrast, all that extra black on his pattern on the outside of all these, we would call them alien heads, just like with ball pythons. Um, sorry, you blood python purists out there. Just deal with it! But yeah, pretty cool, man. Male normal, number three. All right, on to the two male matrixes. All right, I'm gonna show you these guys side by side because there aren't a ton of differentiating um, features to these two snakes. Uh, other than what I would say is right here on this guy, his cross, the cross going this way across his head is more defined, whereas this one is a little bit more faded out on the head. So he's got kind of a lighter pinker head, this guy over here. We'll call the lighter one number one and the one with the more defined cross. Also has a lot more black up here in the middle of his back, you can see, compared to the other guy. So we'll call the darker one number two and the lighter one number one. We got number one on top and number two on the bottom. Both really cool. All right, number one, number two. female normal and she's the only female normal that I have so we don't need to give her a number at all she's just the the female normal she's got a nice well-defined uh, stripe on her head there that little back end of the cross if you will is uh, very well defined and she has the longest and most complete dorsal stripe of any of the females matrix or normal in this clutch I think she just has a real long which is why I picked her this was a this is my pick over over Travis's because of, because of that stripe right there. I really like that. Get a good look at this side pattern. And you can see already now they're out and being used to being handled a little more. They're they're not uh they're not biting me like crazy like they were a minute ago when I was trying to get them all sexy. You know, they're just a little bit of normal handling is all it takes to calm down a snake like this. And that's why I love raising snakes as babies because you get to teach them that they don't need the bite as babies and it's much easier to teach a snake that as a baby than it is as an adult because you know the consequences of them biting you are so much less. So this is one of the female matrixes and this is the one I'm leaning towards keeping because she's definitely got the most attitude of basically any snake in the clutch. She was biting me like crazy and so I'm thinking she's the one I'm gonna keep. I can tell already she's still thinking about keying up on me right now and but if I try my best I'll keep her from actually wanting to go through with making that bite but She's definitely gorgeous. She's the lightest and I, I again, I think she's gonna be the one I keep um, Unless somebody makes a solid argument now. She has the most solid unbroken dorsal pattern of oh, oh She lunged up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's that's why I'm thinking about keeping her She's just got the most attitude. I think she'll be the most fun to uh, To work with and, and calm down and watch her turn into a snake just like sangria because sangria was just like this when I first got her just biting the crap out of me left and right and just like but you just work with them and then next thing you know they're docile and your, your three-year-old's handling them but you see this girl definitely has the most attitude of the three snakes man i mean pretty freaking sweet though so the final snake that we're showing off today is gonna be this girl right here and her defining characteristic 
that I was looking at is this set of twin like double eyes on her back dorsal. See, it's almost two like owl heads almost, like they look like owl faces. Two of them right on top of each other right there. That's pretty cool. And she's, she's a little bit keyed up too. She's looking like she's ready for some action. Um, not as much as her other sister there, but still looking for a little bit of action. But a little less hesitant to strike, which is nice. So I think this would be a better one to go to somebody because she's gonna take a little less work as far as getting her calmed down. And definitely just as gorgeous as her sister. You guys think I should get the boys down here to hold a couple of these babies? Watching Triple B TV. Watching Triple B TV. Hey, I'm right here. Hey, look at me. Can I hold that beauty? <laughs> yeah, this one's uh, biting a lot though. No way. Yeah, it is. I want, I want to start with you. Oh, I just want to see if this one's a boy or a girl. How do you tell? It's a boy. It's another boy. I was hoping this last one would be a girl. We got another boy. What was that stuff? This is a normal male. This is the last one, guys. I went up to get the guys to hold them, but I already put all the other snakes away. And look, they're all nestled up and snuggy and, and getting... Here, okay. let me show you. See, look at that Look at that little nose just poking out down there. They've all they've all bundled themselves up and they're, they're hiding away, so I don't want to I don't want to bother them. You know what I mean? Look, look at that one. Just, that boys! And they're just hiding under. You can't even see them. They're so cozy and hiding. I just wanted to get a little confidence built up and that they've got their nice little hidey hole in their home where they they can hide and they're not gonna be bothered. And then plus the boys are just gonna get bit and they're gonna be all worried about snake bites and these guys are already getting kind of weird about snake bites. You guys okay with holding a, a bitey snake? No. No? Yeah, I didn't think so. No. You guys aren't into holding biting snakes oh, anymore. Yeah. They, they, they used to be so like not afraid of it when they were when they were kids. Now they're just like, oh, well, now we don't want to hold biting snakes anymore. Anyway, what? You know, what? What do you know? I know. Venom and poison. What about venom and poison? Well, that you can tell which one is which by the colors. Really? Yeah. I think they're both clear, but it depends on what they're made out of. Really? Yeah. Teach us. What? Tell us. Teach us about it. Well, some venom has, like... What's the difference between poison and venom? Well, poison is when you eat something. Venom's when it puts it, the venom into you. And that venom comes from a lot of things, like, um, uh, <laughs> like some snakes, especially all spiders. And venom, if they're both regular, then I you would say the venom's deadlier. Hey, you like? What do you know? I know. I see a butthole. He's about to pee. How do you know? He's about to pee, Noah. I want to hold her. I don't want to hold her. She said she's about to pee. No, she's not. I see a No, she's not. I see a She's not about to pee. Uh, I don't want to hold her anymore. She's not about to pee. Uh. Heavy, so heavy. I'll put it on the on there with your reptile thing. Wait on here. Whoa! Ah. Can you bring the tape down here? Shocking. He's up here. Say bye bye. Bye bye, snakey.
The other thing I want to talk about is how did I get twice as many clutches this season as I did previous seasons? And I attribute it 100% entirely, not to science, but to cocoa blocks. Cocoa blocks, cocoa blocks. They come in all kinds of different sizes. 